to the Tabletop Simulator tutorial series. I'm Kimiko from Berserk Games and this is part 2 in our series all about advanced controls. I'm going to go over the commands that the host can do. First of all, the host can cut, copy, paste, and delete objects. This can be accomplished by holding or hovering over an object and pressing Ctrl X for cut, Ctrl C for copy, and Ctrl V for paste. To cut, copy, and paste more than one object at a time, you can drag a box around the objects and then use the same commands as before. To delete an object, just mouse over or hold an object and press your delete key. You can also pick up multiple objects and delete them at once as well. The host can also kick, mute, and ban players. In addition, they can type slash help in the chat to bring up those various commands. Hosts can also just click the name of the player on the top left and do those same commands as well as change the player's color or promote that player so they can do most of the things the host can do. In the host options, the host can enable and disable many things to make their experience an even better one. Most importantly, flipping the table, locking and scaling objects, and many other things can be disabled so only the host can use them. Be sure to check your options when you are starting a server to customize it to the way you want. There are modifier controls in which you can use the ALT key with another key to make something happen. So we've got ALT plus Q and E where you can rotate in a different direction. This is one not many may know about and is what you can use to make a house of cards or domino toppling setup. If you are more of a mouse user like I am, then you can use ALT and scroll with the middle mouse button instead. ALT plus F enables you to spin objects around. While just F actually flips the object, ALT plus F spins it around without flipping it over. You can do the same thing with the mouse by just scrolling the middle mouse button by itself. Let's say you grab multiple objects, but you just want to drop all of them except for the first one. All you need to do is while holding all your objects, press ALT plus T and all the objects in your hand will drop except for the very first one you picked up. For mouse users, you can do this by holding ALT and just pressing the right mouse button. This does not work with stacked objects, however, like a deck of cards. If you want to do something fun like make objects bigger or smaller, there are a couple ways you can do this. First, you can hold an object and press ALT plus SHIFT plus either the Q or E keys. If you are a keyboard user and use WASD, this will make it easier for you to keep your hand in one general area. For others, you can hold or hover over objects and press the plus and minus keys to enlarge and shrink objects. Additionally, you can hold an object and press ALT plus SHIFT and use the scroll wheel on your mouse. You already know that the Z key will zoom in on wherever your pointer is hovering over, but there is another important control which is the ALT zoom. Hover over a card or object and press the ALT key. You will get a close-up view of whatever is on that card or object. This is great so you don't have to manually zoom in and you can keep your focus on the entire table. This is also useful when cards are faced horizontally, enabling you to see them at the proper view. We're now going to go over a couple other important controls. If you want to continually stack objects, but you find that when you try to place one on top of another, all you do is knock them down, then press the R key. This raises the object higher so you can stack objects higher than normal. Another hidden gem is the push key. Hold shift and start pushing objects around. Now you can push objects without having to pick them up. This is great when you want to be a bit more specific where you place things. Another feature you probably didn't know about is that you can place cards at the bottom of the deck without having to pick up the entire deck, place the card down, and then drop the deck on top of it. Simply hold the card, push down with your right mouse button, and slide it under the deck. One other thing you can do is if you are drawing a card but need to pick up multiple, you can grab the first card and then while still holding it, tap down on the deck with your right mouse button to pick up as many as you'd like. And finally, let's go over the latest addition to Tabletop Simulator, the Drawing Tool menu. You can see we have a new menu on the left side of the screen. When you hover over each button, it is highlighted and a function key pops up to show you what each hotkey is. The first button is the Hand Tool, 
which is your regular basic movement. The second is the actual drawing tool, where you can draw anywhere on the table with whatever color you are currently set at. You can change your seat to choose a different color if you so desire. If you wanted to pick up an item, then you'd press the hand button to get you back to your normal settings. The third button is the erase tool, so you can easily erase any lines you make. If you wanted to erase the entire thing in one go, then press the trash can icon that pops up next to the eraser. The fourth button is the hidden areas tool, and the fifth button is the line tool and target arrows. Keep in mind that whichever button you press is the mode you will be in until you press the hand button for normal mode. Have fun messing around with the drawing tool and feel free to send us some of your creations on Twitter. I hope you enjoyed this episode on advanced controls. The next episode will focus on hosting and connecting to servers. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.